Nature and the Environment Unit 1. Antarctica Antarctica is another name for the South Pole. It is also a continent. A long time ago, the South Pole was close to the equator. That was 500 million years ago. It was once joined to Australia. Then, all the land on Earth started to move. Antarctica moved away from Australia and went south. Dinosaur bones were once found at the South Pole. Do you know why? Dinosaurs lived there millions of years ago. This was before it moved away from the equator. About 98% of this continent is frozen. The rest is made up of rock. The South Pole has 87% of the world's ice. But did you know that it gets very little snow? Only about two inches of snow falls each year. How many people live on your continent? No one lives in the South Pole. Only animals, like penguins, live there. Scientists and tourists visit there, but they don't stay long. Do you want to visit Antarctica? It is the coldest, driest place on Earth. Unit 2. A Hiking Trip Hi, Anne. Did you sign up for the trip on Saturday? What trip is that? I didn't know there was a trip on Saturday. The hiking club is going to Bear Mountain. The bus drops us off at the bottom, and we're going to hike until we get to a cabin halfway up the mountain. That sounds really great. Where can I sign up? Go and see Jennifer. She'll help you sign up. What activity will we do when we get to the cabin on the mountain? Well, it takes seven hours to hike to the cabin, so it will be late by the time we arrive. After we unpack, we'll start a campfire. Then we can sing, eat, and tell stories around the fire. The following day, we'll leave at dawn and hike to the top of the mountain. After we take pictures, we'll hike back down. If we have time, we might go swimming in the lake on the mountain. Those sound like really fun activities, and I can't wait to go. Unit 3. Save the Turtles Have you heard about the plan to save turtles in Mexico? No, what is the story? Turtles are in danger of becoming extinct around the world. Every year, thousands of turtles lay eggs on the beach. After the turtles lay their eggs in the sand, people come along and take them. I suppose the people like eating turtle eggs. Exactly. Turtles are beginning to stay away from certain places now. There are fewer and fewer of them left. There is a new project in Mexico to save these eggs. Then turtles will not become extinct. I think it's a very good project. Is there anything we can do to help? I'm going to call the Environmental Protection Hotline. They might have some information about the project to help save turtles in Mexico. They might even have a brochure. Let's find the website on my computer. Oh, here it is. The address is www.enviro.com. There's plenty of information here. Great! Let's see what we can do to help save turtles in Mexico. Unit 4. Hiking in Iran Most people think that the Middle East is only a desert. This is far from true. Last year, I went hiking in Iran. Iran has many mountains. You can find trees that lose their leaves in winter. If you're lucky, you may see a yellow deer or a brown bear, two species that live there. The air is fresh and you can swim in clear, clean lakes. I definitely recommend it. There are so many birds to see. It is fun to go into the forest with binoculars to look at birds. Seeing the birds through binoculars makes them seem much nearer than they actually are. You can write down all of the species that you see. You should learn about their calls first. That means the sounds that each bird makes. Sometimes it's hard to see the birds. However, you can identify them if you happen to hear them. I want to go back to Iran again someday. It's so beautiful that I want to see and explore much more of it. Unit 5. Jane Goodall 
Jane Goodall went to Africa when she was 26 years old. She went there to research chimpanzees. At that time, no other women scientists worked there alone. At first, Jane studied the chimps from far away. The chimps were afraid of her. They ran away if she came close to them. After some time, the chimps saw that she was not going to hurt them. They let her walk near them. Soon, she was living among them. She wanted to learn more and more about them. Jane did a lot of research on chimps. She discovered many new things about them. She learned that each chimp has its own personality. She saw that they have feelings. Jane discovered that chimps have very close families. Mothers and fathers take good care of baby chimps. An adult female chimp will sometimes adopt an orphan. In 1977, Jane started an institute to help protect animals. She wanted to help animals all around the world. Today, this institute runs programs in over 70 countries. Science and Technology Unit 6. Flying Cars Listen to this. This newspaper article says that some scientists are working on a new kind of airplane. People can use these flying cars for short trips. How interesting! The article says the first flying car might be ready within the next few years. That's quite soon. How would this flying car work? Can anybody use one, or is it only for people who know how to fly airplanes? You don't need to be an airplane pilot to use a flying car. The article says there would be a computer inside the car that would know where you want to go. The driver does not need to control the car unless something goes wrong. Does the article say how much a flying car would cost? It will probably cost too much money. We would not be able to afford one. True. But wouldn't it be nice to fly over traffic jams instead of sitting in the middle of them? Yes, but then we might end up with traffic jams in the sky. Unit 7. The Perfect Gift Hello and welcome to Robux. How may I help you? I would like to buy my wife a home appliance for her birthday. What sort of appliance are you looking for, sir? I think a dishwasher might be the perfect gift because it will help with the housework. Oh yes, dishwashers are very useful. This one here is our most popular model. How does it work? It's very simple. First, collect your dirty dishes and scrape off the leftover food into the garbage can. Then rinse the dishes in the sink. Put glasses, cups and cutlery on the top rack. Plates, bowls and pots go face down on the bottom rack. Then, fill this compartment with detergent and close the door. Next, choose the wash cycle and finally press the start button. You'll have sparkling clean dishes in 45 minutes. That sounds easy to use. I think my wife will really like it. How much does it cost? You're lucky, sir. It's on sale this week for $400. Great! I'll take it. Unit 8. Acupuncture Acupuncture began in China thousands of years ago. It is a special way to treat sick people. There are many acupuncture spots on the human body. Small metal needles are put into spots on the body. Each spot is connected to a special body part or system. There are many spots for each part. An expert puts the needles into these spots in a person's body. These spots connect to the body system that has a problem. The needles do not go deep. People say that the needles do not hurt. We are not sure why acupuncture works, but studies have shown that it works very well. No one can explain why. Doctors think that it helps the nerves in the body. Some doctors use acupuncture to treat people who cannot take medicine. People in Asia have been using this special method for a long time. At first, people outside Asia did not trust this method. They did not think that it would help them. Now, it has become very popular around the world. Unit 9. 
Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is famous around the world. He is famous for his work in science. Many people think that he was the greatest scientist of the 20th century. Einstein was born in Germany in 1879. His interest in science began when he was very young. Someone gave him a compass in 1884. Young Einstein was interested in how it worked. He wanted to learn science. He wanted to become a scientist. Einstein tried to enter a top Swiss university. At first, he met with failure. He did not get a place. But Einstein did not give up easily. He applied again to the same university in the next year. This time, he was successful. Einstein was a good student. He graduated from this famous university in 1896. As a scientist, Einstein did important work in the field of physics. His work was very good. He received the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. In 1933, he went to live in the United States with his wife. Unit 10 The Telescope Come and look at the telescope I got for my birthday. That's neat! Yeah. Now we can look at the moon. Did you know that the moon is the Earth's only natural satellite? No, I didn't know that. I thought the moon was a planet. Well, a planet moves around the sun, but a satellite moves around a planet. Oh, I see. Can you see other planets with your telescope? Sure. I can see two planets close to Earth really well. Which planet is closest to Earth? Mars is the closest planet to Earth. Many scientists believe that Mars once had rivers and oceans just like Earth. Mars has two moons. That's cool. What is the other planet near Earth? The other planet near Earth is Venus, but Venus has no moons. Do you think people will ever be able to visit Mars or Venus? Maybe someday people will be able to visit Mars, but not Venus because it's too hot. Well, at least we can see them with your new telescope. Art and Culture Unit 11 The Mona Lisa What are you looking at, Billy? This is a copy of my favorite painting. It's the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Why is that your favorite painting? Well, there are a few things that make the Mona Lisa great. First, she has no eyebrows. Second, she has a really beautiful smile. Most of all, I like the soft colors of the painting. Have you seen the Mona Lisa before? It is a very famous painting. Of course. I've seen the painting a few times before, but I never noticed that her eyebrows are missing. I wonder why she has no eyebrows. Do you know why? At the time da Vinci painted it, it was fashionable for young Italian girls to shave off their eyebrows. Every girl wanted to be fashionable. Wow, that's really interesting. In what year was the Mona Lisa painted? I think it was painted sometime between 1503 and 1505. I wonder what a modern Mona Lisa would look like. She might have purple hair. Unit 12 Bang Yi Once upon a time, there was a poor, kind man named Bang Yi. He had a rich but greedy brother. One day, Bang Yi asked his brother, To give him some grain seeds to grow. His greedy brother gave Bang Yi some poisoned seeds. Only one plant grew from the poisoned seeds, but Bang Yi was very happy. He took good care of the plant. Then, one afternoon, a bird came and stole the plant. Bang Yi chased the bird into the forest. In the forest, he saw two monsters using a magic stick. To turn rocks into food. 
Fang Yi hid behind a big rock and watched the monsters. The monsters ate a lot of food. Soon, they became very sleepy. When the monsters had fallen asleep, Fang Yi took their magic stick. He became very rich. Fang Yi's greedy brother went to the forest to find a magic stick for himself. The angry monsters saw him. They chased him deep into the forest. The greedy brother was never seen again. Unit Thirteen: Friendship Day. Friends are an important part of our lives. They help us in many ways. Do you tell your friends that you are glad they are your friends? Everyone should tell their friends that they are special. Did you know that there is now a special day just for friends? This day is called National Friendship Day. The first Sunday in August was chosen to be National Friendship Day in 1935. This holiday is not as big as Christmas or New Year's Day. However, it is still a special day. People are usually too busy to visit their friends often, but this day is different. On this day, people take time to tell their friends how much they care. They write cards or send emails to their friends. They may also call their friends, no matter how busy they are. People hug their friends or spend time with them. There are many ways to show you care. You need not wait for a special day. Call your friends right now. Unit Fourteen: An Outdoor Exhibit. Do you like photographs? What kind of photos? Photos of plants and animals, for example, or mountains and oceans. The sort of photographs a nature magazine would publish. That's right. Of course, I love nature photos. They are very beautiful. Some of them are very colorful. Yes, most nature photos are so interesting. Sometimes I buy nature magazines just for the photos. Me too. I like taking nature photos with my camera, but they are not very good. My photos are not good either. Famous nature magazines only publish very good photos. That's true. People must be very talented to get their photos published. Yeah. Why are we suddenly talking about photographs? Is there an exhibit somewhere? How did you guess? There is an outdoor exhibit going on right now. Really? Yes. Nature photographs from all over the world are on display. That sounds great. I would love to see it. Me too. Would you like to go with me? Sure. How about Sunday morning? Okay. It will be fun to see all those photos. Unit fifteen. People are different. There are more than six billion human beings in the world. Each one is different from all the others. No two people look exactly alike. People from one country may look the same in general, but they are not totally alike. Most people in Vietnam have straight black hair and black eyes, but they all look different. People in America have straight hair, curly hair, or wavy hair. Their hair may be black, brown, yellow, or red. Some people have brown or gray eyes. Some have blue or green eyes. Even people in the same family look different from each other. We all think differently. We all like different things. We like different kinds of food and different kinds of music. We also like different styles of clothing. Wherever you are, you are different from everyone else. Nobody else looks just like you. Nobody has your thoughts or your talents. There are more than six billion people on Earth, but none of them are exactly like you. You are one of a kind. Leisure and entertainment. Unit sixteen, karaoke. It's nice to see you, Karen. How have you been? I've been very well, thank you. How are you, Dan? I'm fine, thanks. I went to the movie Saturday night. I wanted to invite you, but you weren't home. That's right. I went karaoke singing with some friends on Saturday night. Really? I've never sung karaoke. What's it like? I had never gone karaoke singing before either, but I had a great time. My friends were experienced karaoke singers, so they showed me what to do. Did you have to sing in front of a lot of strangers? No. The place we went to rented out small private rooms. 
Nobody else could hear us. They even gave us free sodas. Cool. What kind of music did they have? They had hundreds of different songs to choose from. They had both new songs and old songs. They had songs in English and songs in several other languages, too. It was really fun. I think I'll go karaoke singing next weekend. Unit 17 Watching TV Did you watch the latest episode of that new reality show last night? There are so many of those reality shows these days. Which one are you talking about? It's called Good Fences, and it's all about neighbors. This reality show is the only one I like, because you're right, the others are just silly. I never watch reality shows at all. I prefer to watch shows that teach me about something, like science and nature programs and travel shows. Oh, I like travel shows too. My favorite travel show is the one with that chef from England. He travels, cooks, and eats all the time. I like that one too. He really makes me laugh. He has a good sense of humor. Let's watch it together this week. It's on Thursday at 8 o'clock, right? That's right. But where shall we watch it? Well, I have a big screen TV and a comfortable sofa. Okay, we'll watch it at your place then. And I'll bring some snacks. See you then. Unit 18. Have some fun. Okay, great. We'll meet you in an hour. Bye. Who is that on the phone, Jane? That was Amy. She wants to meet us in front of her apartment building in an hour. Why are we meeting her there? Because her apartment is close to the bus stop. We're going to go downtown and watch a movie. So hurry up and get ready. Oh, I honestly don't think I should watch a movie tonight. I'm studying for an important test on Tuesday, so I really don't have time to have fun. You have been studying for several days, Joe. You don't need to study any more. You need to have some fun because you're too tired to study anyway. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Is it just Amy and us going? Lily is coming along too. Really? I need time to take a shower and get dressed. Don't worry. You have time. It will be fun to see Lily and fun to watch a movie together. I told you so. Unit 19. Tickets to the game. You won't believe this, but I have some great news. I've got two tickets to the baseball game next Saturday. Did I hear you correctly? You have two tickets to the baseball game? How did you get those? I thought it was impossible to get tickets because they were all sold out last month. It was easy, actually. My colleague and her husband have to go to London that week, so they'll miss the game. They offered me their tickets, and of course, I was happy to accept. You're so lucky. Who are you going to take with you? I was thinking that maybe you would like to go. Otherwise, I might take my brother instead. Don't do that. I would love to watch the game with you. I was just joking. I know you really want to go. Where shall we meet on Saturday? Well, the game starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Yes. Shall we meet here at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday? Good idea. I can't wait. Unit 20. Wonder Woman Comic book heroes have been popular for many years. One hero has the strength of 100 men. This hero also has the speed of lightning. This hero cannot be killed. If you think this hero is Superman, you are wrong. This hero is Wonder Woman. A man called William Marston created Wonder Woman in 1941. He was a graduate of Harvard University. He used a false name on his comics. He did not want his colleagues to know that he wrote comics. The false name was Charles Moulton. Mr. Marston wanted to make a strong female hero for little girls. Of course, he hoped that little boys would like Wonder Woman too. Wonder Woman was not very popular at first. Then, World War II began in 1941. Wonder Woman became a role model for children around the world. She was both strong and beautiful. She always tried to do what was right. Today, she is still one of the most popular heroes of all time. 
School and Family. Unit 21. Blood Types. Thanks for meeting me today, Professor. I don't understand last week's lecture on blood types. Could you please explain it to me? No problem, Angela. First, let's see what you do understand. Can you tell me about blood types? There are four types of blood A, B, A, B, and O. Good. How is your blood type determined? You get your blood type from both your parents. Your blood type is a combination of genes from your father and your mother. That's right. Before the lecture, I always thought that all blood was the same. Why can't two different blood types mix? In some ways, every person's blood is the same, but it is very dangerous to mix two different blood types. Your blood cells may begin to stick together. If you are given the wrong type of blood in a hospital, you could die. I see. So that's why blood types must be matched in the hospital, and this must be done before blood is given to anyone. Exactly. Unit 22 The Car Ride. Mom, Danielle's on my side of the car again. Tell her to move over. Listen, both of you. I've had enough of your nonsense. Sit still, be quiet, and enjoy the scenery. Mom, is Toronto still far away? It's going to take a long time to get there, so read your book. I don't like to read in the car because it gives me a headache. Can we put a CD in? I suppose so, but it had better not be rap music. That music is awful, and I can't believe you children actually listen to it. Oh, please, can we play some rap music? You might like it, Mom. Well, only if you promise that there is no bad language in it. There isn't any bad language. I promise. All right, I'll play the CD, but it will be at the volume I choose. Thanks, Mom. Have I ever told you about the songs I liked at your age? People listened to real music in those days. Oh, Mom, rap is real music too. Unit 23 The Report. I finished my report on the French Revolution last night. How did you finish it so fast? I'm still trying to find books about it. There was something about the French Revolution on TV last week. I wrote down the names of all the people who were on the show. What did you do next? I went to the library and looked for their books. It was very easy, especially because I already understood what they wanted to say. I guess I could have done that, but I missed the TV show. Why did Miss Dessart make us write about French history anyway? She's a French language teacher, not a history teacher. Miss Dessart said that if we want to understand the language, we should understand the culture. I don't know if I speak better French, but I know more about French history now. If the French Revolution had never happened, French would be a very different language. You're right. I'm going to talk to Miss Tassard now. I'll see you later. Unit 24 Home Schools There are many kinds of schools for many kinds of students. One kind of school is the home school. Home schools are exactly that schools at home. Parents choose to homeschool their children for many reasons. Some people feel that public schools are too dangerous. Some people think that the level of education is too low. Some parents do not approve of the subjects their children learn in public schools. If parents choose to homeschool their children, they must be ready to teach them well. There are many benefits to homeschooling. Home schools are very small. There are just one or two students. The student's mother or father is the teacher. Another benefit is that students can study interesting things. Some people think that homeschooling is not good for students. They believe public schools teach children discipline. They feel that public schools give a sense of community. In the end, parents must decide if homeschooling is the right choice for their children. Unit 25 Big Brother So, how does it feel to have a new baby brother in the house? It's really exciting, but not as easy as I thought it would be 
because the baby cries constantly. I love my baby brother, but I don't like all that noise. I know. When my baby sister was born, she cried and slept all the time. I had to help change diapers and feed her. I hope I never have to change a diaper. My mom and dad do a good job of that. I learned how to heat the bottle to the right temperature, though. Having a new baby around is hard work. What do you like most about your new brother? He's really cute, and everyone says he looks like me, but with darker hair. Smaller, too, of course. He laughs when I tickle his little feet. When he grows up a bit, I'll teach him how to ride a bicycle, and we can also play games together. I'm going to be the best big brother in the world. People and Work Unit 26 The New Boss You know, Kim, I think our new boss doesn't like me. I don't understand why. That's not true, Trevor. Why, just this morning I heard her say you're a very good employee. She said you work very hard every day. That's news to me. I wish she would say it to me, but she just criticizes everything I do. I think that you're being too sensitive. Do you really think so? Maybe I just need a vacation. I haven't had one for years. It's not good to work so hard, Trevor. I think a vacation is a great idea. How about you? Are you happy at work these days? Yes, I'm really enjoying working for this new boss. That's why I'm surprised that you think she criticizes your work. Actually, I think she is helping you to improve your work. She's just trying to help. I didn't realize that. Now that I think about it, you're right. I feel much better. Good. Let's go for lunch. Unit 27. The Principal How long have you been a school principal, Mr. Shin? I have been a school principal for 18 years. What made you get involved in education? When I was 12 years old, I read an article about how the human brain works. I studied very hard. I tried to use my brain well. Soon, I began to get interested in education. I see. After college, I became a teacher. I was given the position of principal 12 years later. Do you ever wish that you had done something else? When I first started as a principal, I missed being a teacher. I liked spending time with children and helping them learn and grow. However, I knew that I could do a lot of good as a principal. You have certainly done a lot of good, Mr. Shin. You started a special program to send all the students in your school to college. I had been planning to do that for some time. I'm glad the program is so successful. Unit 28. Bill Gates Look at this article I am reading. It says here that Microsoft made over $36 billion in 2004. Wow! I wish I was Bill Gates, the owner of Microsoft. Is it just because of the money? Of course. You can donate a lot of money to help other people. Bill Gates donates millions to charity every year. He also employs about 55,000 people in 85 different countries. I heard that he got interested in computers when he was really young. That's right. He started programming computers when he was 13 years old. Really? Yes. Then he studied computers at Harvard University. He was a Harvard graduate? This shows how important education is to success. Actually, Bill Gates decided to drop out of Harvard. He was an excellent student, but he did not want to graduate. Why not? He had a dream. He dreamed that computers would be in every home and office in the world. I see. He decided to follow his dream. Yes, he made the right decision. Unit 29. Mark Twain Here is a story that Mark Twain, the famous author of Tom Sawyer, and the adventures of Huckleberry Finn told one afternoon. Years ago, I was on a train leaving New York. There were too many people, and the sleeper train was full. I asked the young man at the ticket office if I could have a room in the sleeper section of the train. He answered rudely, No. I left feeling quite angry. As I was getting on the train, I saw a man watching me. He watched me for a few minutes. Then he spoke to the conductor in a whisper. Immediately, the conductor came over to me. 
Can I help you? He asked. Do you want a place in the sleeper section? Yes, give me anything. We have two beds and chairs in a private section. The conductor made sure I was comfortable. Then he said, I'm so proud to have you on this train, sir. Oh, who am I? I asked. General McClellan. Unit 30 A Soccer Star Soccer is a very popular team sport worldwide. Many people love to watch it. Hong Myung Bo is a famous soccer player. He started playing soccer in 1990. He played for the Pohang Steelers for six years. Then he played for the Los Angeles Galaxy. He was the first Korean to play for a major league soccer team in the United States. Now, he is a coach for the South Korean soccer team. Hong is famous because he played soccer well. He played in more than 125 international games. He also played in four World Cups. He played in the World Cup in 1990, 1994, 1998, and 2002. Hong won two soccer awards in 2002. His team won the award <laughs> team in the World Cup. People thought it was fun to watch soccer. Hong also won the Adidas Bronze Ball Award. This award was for his outstanding performance in the game. Even though Hong did not play in the final game, he played well. Sports and Health Unit 31 Keeping Fit We all need regular exercise to keep fit. But if we study all day, we don't have time to run, swim, lift weights, or play basketball. What can we do to stay in shape? One thing we could do is walk more often. Walking is good exercise. Instead of going to school by car or bus, we could walk. During recess, we could go outside and stroll around before we go back to class. Instead of taking the elevator in buildings all the time, we could use the stairs. Another important thing is to take breaks from studying. If we sit at our desks or in front of a computer for a long time, we should stand up and stretch our arms and legs once each hour. If we stand for a long time, we should sit down and stretch our backs. These are just a few ways we can stay fit when we don't have a lot of time to exercise. Do you know some other ways? Unit 32. Stop yawning. Stop yawning, Jason. I'm sorry, Miss Terry. I can't help it. You can. You yawn because your lungs need more oxygen. When you need more oxygen, you open your mouth wide and take in a lot of air. What can I do to stop yawning? You should go outside into the fresh air and breathe deeply. Then you won't need to yawn anymore. Your lungs will have lots of oxygen. We just came in from recess. So why am I yawning? Are you tired? Being tired also makes you yawn. This is because your body needs rest. Oxygen helps your body rest. Sleeping rests your body and makes you take long, deep breaths. Then why do I yawn when I am bored, Ms. Terry? Well, Jason, when you are bored, you are probably not breathing deeply enough. The best way to stop yawning from boredom is to do something interesting. If you can't do that, try taking deep breaths. This will not stop the boredom, but it will help you stop yawning. Unit 33. The Gym Did you hear that a new gym opened on one of the streets nearby? That's great news. I've gained some weight and I'd like to lose it through exercise. I need to lose weight too and I've always wanted to take yoga classes. Do you know if the new gym offers yoga classes? I'm not sure. I'm planning to go there on Friday evening to look around. Do you want to join me? Let me check my schedule for this week. I'm too busy on Friday, so can we go on Saturday afternoon instead? Sure. We can see what the new gym has to offer and get some exercise too. It's fun to work out in a gym with other people. 
We might even meet new people with similar hobbies. Hold on. Let's see what the gym looks like first before we start planning anything else. Let's meet for lunch at the West End Cafe before we go. It might be the last good meal we eat. Good plan. Unit 34. A Healthy Lifestyle This burger is delicious. Do you want some? No, thank you. I'm working out at a gym these days. I want to be healthy, so I've also started eating good fresh food. You're exercising? That's fantastic. When did you start thinking about your weight and staying in shape? Last month I had a checkup. My doctor told me that I should be leading a much healthier lifestyle now that I'm getting older. Now I try to eat small, regular meals instead of one or two big meals a day. I see. What types of food do you usually eat now? I eat lots of fruit and vegetables. I try to limit carbohydrates like bread, rice, and pasta. I also try not to eat sugary foods. Oh dear, I love sugary foods, especially cakes. Well, try to eat food that is good for you. You need to take care of yourself. You're right. I should start thinking about a healthier lifestyle. But first, I'm going to finish my burger. Unit 35. A Balanced Meal I have lost 7 pounds in one week. Skipping breakfast really works. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? People who skip breakfast eat more at the next meal. Eating breakfast is very important. Breakfast gives you energy for the day. Well, I eat one big meal a day at dinner time. Having one meal a day is not good. You should have several small meals a day. You'll have more energy that way. Maybe you're right. I have been feeling really tired lately. What do you usually eat? I only eat salads now. Salads alone may not be nutritious enough. So what should I eat? You need some protein and carbohydrates. It is important to eat a good variety of food at each meal. You should have balanced meals. Make sure you eat cereals, fruits and vegetables, and some bread or rice. You also need milk and dairy products, and some meat. You'll be healthier. You'll have more energy. You'll even look better. Travel and Transport Unit 36 Across Canada I'm so excited. I just got back from the travel agency. Travel agency? Where are you going? I'm planning to go to Canada on vacation. Canada? How exciting! How long are you going for? I'm going for a month. I want to see as much as I can. You are so lucky. What places are you going to visit? First, I'll spend a few days in Vancouver. Then, I'll take a train through the Rocky Mountains. Oh, you're riding through the Rockies. That's really exciting. Then I'll fly to Toronto and take a bus to Niagara Falls. Did you know that you can actually take a boat under that huge waterfall? It's called Made of the Mist. Wow, that's an amazing thing to do. You're so lucky. Well, I hope I don't get seasick. I'll finish my trip in Nova Scotia. I want to eat lobster for dinner every night, and I'd like to bike around some small fishing villages too. Have a great time and take lots of pictures. Unit 37. A Trip to Europe Where are you going on vacation this year, Andre? I'm going to Europe with my parents. We're going to take a tour of France, Italy and Germany. Oh, that will be such fun. How long will you be gone? Three weeks. We're going in the summer, so I won't miss any school. What will you do there? We're going to visit historical sites, like the Colosseum in Rome. We'll also see famous museums, like the Louvre in Paris. And of course, we're going to the top of the Eiffel Tower. How will you travel from one country to another? There's a famous train that goes all over Europe. It's called the Eurorail. I wish I could go with you. My family is going to the seashore again, just like last year. I'd like to go somewhere I've never been. Don't worry, Julie. I will take lots of pictures, and I'll buy you a souvenir. Thank you. I'll collect some seashells from the beach for you. Thanks. Unit 38. New Mexico Hi, 
I haven't seen you for two whole weeks. Where did you go on your vacation? I visited my cousin in New Mexico. I had a great time. Mexico? I thought you went to the U.S. I did. New Mexico is a state in the southwestern U.S. It's between Texas and Arizona. Guess what? A lot of Americans don't know that New Mexico is a state. The license plates on cars in New Mexico also say USA. This is so that people don't get confused and think the driver is from Mexico. That's funny. So, tell me what you did in New Mexico. My favorite part was visiting Carlsbad Caverns. There are 30 miles of caves. In one cave, we had to wear hats with lights on them so we could see in the dark. Sometimes we had to crawl through very narrow tunnels on our hands and knees. Weren't you scared? No, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to visit my cousin again next year. You should come with me. Unit 39. A good way to travel. Traveling is a good hobby. If you have very little money, backpacking is a good way to travel. Many students like to backpack. They can travel cheaply. They can travel to many places. These travelers carry their belongings in large backpacks. They are called backpackers. Backpackers take buses or trains to save money. They camp outdoors to sleep. If they stay in a city, they may go to a hostel. A hostel is like a hotel. Hotels are not cheap. Hostels are very cheap. Travelers often share rooms at hostels. There are only a few toilets and baths. People share them, too. Hostels are a good place to meet other travelers. You can make friends. They can tell you about fun things to do in the area. Many hostels have kitchens. These kitchens have stoves. Some have toasters. You can buy your food from a store. Then you can cook at the hostel. This is cheaper than eating out. Just remember to clean up when you are done. Unit 40. A Train Announcement Welcome on board the TGV 740. We are now leaving Paris. We will arrive in Marseille at 3 p.m. We offer free beverages in each car. Please have as much coffee, tea, or soft drinks as you wish. There is a restaurant on the train. You may purchase a meal there during the trip. The restaurant is in car 11. We will make two stops on this trip. We will pick up passengers in Provence and Dijon. Passengers changing trains can ask the attendant for a free timetable. This will help you with your onward trip. Please note that smoking is only permitted in cars 15 and 23. Newspapers are given to all passengers. Mobile phones and the Internet may be used in cars 18 and 25. If you need assistance, please press the button near your seat to contact a cabin attendant. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. We are pleased to have you on board. We look forward to serving you again in the future.